you know. And so when we try and interpret. We try and make those conclusions um, of things being just or not. It's 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 interesting. Now, um, you, you talked about did, did God die and, and what happened there, and you know that like I said, that's a whole another that's a whole another element of, of of what happened. There's there's scripture that will back up the fact that Jesus died, went to hell for us. Daniel six was in, but and that's another topic and a whole another debate and a whole bunch of other scriptures to get into. I'm not sure if that's where that's that's where we're going with this and. Um, but anyway, I don't think God can die. The words have no meaning. It's, it's th those were my thoughts as you were talking about that. That's when I look at it. I'm saying, does it? Mean does it make sense to me that 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 that, that, that all of these things are just? I'm not the author of just. God is. God can. Well, okay, okay, and, and and again, again, you know, at, at a lot of points, and, and I'm sure it's the same with your faith and with your beliefs. There are going hard and you know, parables of childlike faith, and children don't understand things, but they believe they catch on it, and and that's a big piece of. Uh, and Jesus talks about that. It's like you know, if you had the faith of a child, you know, and he so he re he references that, and. and And in certain situations like that, it that's what it gets to. For us, you know, it, it, if we're hung up on one thing or another, or we're really struggling with something, a lot of these things I don't struggle with. I don't, I don't, I don't struggle with these issues, and I completely understand, and I've seen it in my own life, that where I do struggle. Go with something, go to prayer, go to study, and God reveals it to me in, in His timing. It's not my. It's not about what Jeff wants, when Jeff wants it, how Jeff wants it. It's about sur in, in, in my view, it's about surrendering to God. Surrender. I will be done. So, so if it's your will that's going to be done, I'm gonna I'm gonna yield to what you want me to do. I want me to do, and I'm going to be able to people that come over into Christianity, you know, and you're not going to be a biblical scholar. I mean, you're just, you're, you're not going to be able to go toe to toe. And I'll tell you who's some of the best people, well, not best, actually, I mean, all right? Atheists. Those guys know the Bible. And, and with, without the element of faith, without the acceptance, that it's not all going to make sense, and it's beautiful that the topic of this discussion really was, um, does salvation make sense? And I said no. <laughs> because some of it, some of it absolutely doesn't. But here's a big difference with the lack of understanding and with not being able to understand and having faith in God that you'll understand it when you need to understand it when it's his will comes peace exactly what you know I didn't have all the answers I still don't have all the answers big for that peace result I, I don't struggle so what with me I need when he was mad I'm a random person that Sorry, bro. Did you say you're done? Okay, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, you accept that it's un that you don't understand the justice. You claim that it's unjust. I say to you this: God has given us a mind. What? Oh shit! guidance of God to find the truth. That which our minds obviously reject as being unjust. We try to pay attention to that. We may be wrong about that. But if it's obviously unjust, it's unjust. Anyway, I think I made the unjustice point. Um, that it is, cannot be just. That Christ, I have not had an answer to the question of how 
God dies, what does the words mean? What does the phrase mean, God dies? What does the phrase mean, phrase mean God sacrifices? I don't understand those phrases. Uh, lots of people leaving the room. Uh, okay. Uh, I presume the room is still alive. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can hear you. Just a quick interjection. <laughs> yeah, I'm cleaning out the room. <laughs> just, just so that they can go into the other room and hear the live feed because we're getting way too much lag and it's going to be a real chore to clean up everything. Well, so nothing. Right. Don't even PM one another. There's no need. Right. Yeah. Correct. Next time we'll have to do this on Skype because that's a better medium. Anyway, uh, I think I think I made the major point. That is, is unjust. The why would God die? What does it mean? Uh, that. And you consider, you see, from my point of view as a Muslim, it's so straightforward. And why would I find that problematic? That God gives us laws that we can obey because he knows our natures. And he makes laws according to us and does not demand of us that which is unjust. And he makes only demands of us that we can meet. That we are only responsible for our own individual actions and not for anybody else. That the fact that I inherited two arms and was born in a particular kind of world has nothing to do with it. It's just how I use my will that's the issue. No ex extraneous factors about what I inherited and so on. No. It's just how I use my will with what I got. And to the extent that I can use my will, God judges me. And that's it. And then I leave the judgment to him. No need for any blood sacrifices, no need for any strange convoluted injustices, no need for God dying, whatever that means, no need for God making sacrifices, whatever that means. It's, you, can, you can see why I find the whole thing kind of difficult to take even start taking it. Yeah, yeah, I can. Um, and, and believe me, you know, I I deal on a daily basis on YouTube with a bunch of people that really struggle with, you know, the whole issue. I, and why don't I struggle with it? Well, I don't know, but I think that I understand. And I guess as you were walking through things that you didn't, you know, you didn't understand and didn't make sense to you, I was saying to myself, well, you know, Jesus did that, and, and I paid, you know, Jesus paid the price, and, and really, you know, when it, and I remember this early is, you know, without Jesus, anything good in my life that comes from the Christ that lives within me, and you know that. That perspective, that posture, um, you know, is different. But anyway, I wanted to, um, I just wanted to say that. But I also want to share a story with you, and, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure how much longer we're, we're going to be recording or, or what's going on. But I, but I wanted to share this this quick story with you, and, and it deals with, it deals with the side of the relationship with God that that. What did it freeze again? Looks like it. Yeah, the other room kind of crashed. So while we wait for the other room, we have to get back on. You can discuss whatever you want on mic. Again. Is this a... I know, maybe a stupid question. But is this broadcast... Never mind, stupid question. Uh, there's no such thing as stupid questions, but... Yeah, this is a live broadcast... Freshman at the University 
at the University of California, Berkeley. Perfectly healthy. I mean, and and this is a mouthful. Listen to this. She was a 